Welcome aviation fans and enthusiasts to the ultimate showdown between the Airbus A320neo and the Boeing 737 MAX 8. It's like watching a rap battle between two planes that are about to drop some serious beats. In the left corner, we have the A320neo, sleek, modern and efficient. It's like the cool kid in school who always has the latest gadgets and the coolest shoes. And those Pratt & Whitney engines, they are so quiet, you'll barely even notice you are on a plane. It's like flying on a cloud but without all the fluff. And in the right corner, we have the Sun 37 Max 8, sturdy, reliable and powerful. It's like the burly biker dude who can carry your luggage and your entire family on his back. And that higher maximum take of weight, it's like having a gym buff who can lift twice his weight and not break a sweat. But wait, there's more. Let's not forget about the safety concerns that have plagued both of these planes in the past. The A320neo had some engine issues, but hey, nobody's perfect. Even superheroes have their kryptonite. And the 737 Max 8 had those two fatal crashes, but it's been working hard to redeem its, itself like a contestant on a reality show, and it was successful in some ways, or in a lot of ways. So which one should you choose? It all depends on your personality and your priorities. Do you want the cool kid who's always in style or the bully biker dude who can carry all your stuff? Do, do you value efficiency or raw power? Do you prefer a cloud-like experience or bumpy ride, ride like a roller cro coaster? It's up to you to decide, my friends. So now, it's time for a real clash. Round 1. MTO or the maximum takeoff weight. The Airbus A320neo and the Boeing 737 MAX 8 is like comparing two weightlifters. The MAX 8 is the heavyweight champion, clocking it around 82,190 kg, while the A320neo is the challenger, weighing in at 79,000 kg. It's like the MAX 8 is saying, I can lift more weight than you, A320neo, but let's not forget that the A320neo is like the scrappy underdog with its fuel efficient engines and spacious cabin. It's like comparing a bulldog to a golden. Uh, so whatever you are, a heavyweight weight or a lightweight, both of these planes have their own unique strengths, just like in a weightlifting competition. It's not always about who can lift the most weight, but about who can perform the best overall, and these planes are definitely winners in their own. Round 2. The Range the A320 Neo is like the tall, laggy kid who looks like he could throw a ball a mile, but ends up getting distracted and throwing it in the wrong direction. Meanwhile, the 737 Max 8 is like the scrappy little kid who doesn't look like much but surprises everyone by throwing the ball farther than anyone expected. In more technical terms, the A320 Neo has a maximum range of around 3600 nautical miles, which is impressive, but it can be affected by things like winds and weather conditions. On the other hand, the 737 MAX 8 has a maximum range of around 3550 nautical miles, which is slightly less than the A320neo, but still pretty darn impressive for a smaller aircraft. Round 3. The Engines the engines of the A320neo and the 737 MAX 8 are like two superheroes with different powers. The A320neo can choose between CFM International's Leap 1A or Pratt & Whitney's Pratt & Whitney 1000G engines, while the 737 MAX 8 exclusively uses CFM International's Leap 1B engines. It's like the A320neo has a choice between two capes, while the 737 MAX 8 has one trusty cape. But no matter what, both engines use advanced materials and designed to provide improved fuel efficiency and lower emissions, making them eco-friendly superheroes of the skies. Round 4. Fuel Efficiency the A320neo's engine is so fuel efficient, it's practically a vegetarian airplane. Yeah, you hear that, it's a vegetarian airplane. It consumes less fuel than a salad and emits fewer greenhouse gases than a cow. It's like the Tesla of airplanes with an eco-friendly engine that saves you money and helps you save the planet. Airbus claims that A320neo can save up to 20% on fuel compared to its predecessor, the A320 current engine option. The Sun 37 Max 8 engine is so fuel efficient, it's practically a superhero. It can fly further, faster, and with less fuel than its 
its predecessor, it's like the Iron Man of airplanes, with a high-tech engine that's both efficient and powerful. Boeing claims that the 737 MAX 8 can save up to 14% on fuel compared to its predecessor, the 737 Next Generation. Round 5. The Cabin Capacity when it comes to capacity, the A320neo is like a party bus. It can fit up to 195 passengers in a typical one-class configuration. The 737 MAX 8, on the other hand, is like a party arch. It can fit up to 210 passengers in a one-class configuration. So if you're looking to throw a wild in-flight party, the 737 MAX 8 might be the better option. But if you are just looking for a comfortable ride, the A320neo has more space for you to stretch out and enjoy the flight. Round 6. Passenger Comfort When it comes to passenger comfort, both the A320neo and the 737 MAX 8 have their advantages. The A320neo features larger overhead storage bins and wider seats, which provide more legroom and a more spacious feel. It's like a first-class cabin in coach. The 737 MAX 8 features larger windows and LED lighting, which create a more open and inviting cabin atmosphere. It's like flying in a sunroom with plenty of natural light and a warm welcoming vibe. Round 7. Cargo Capacity when it comes to cargo capacity, the A320neo and the 737 MAX 8 are like two different type of pickup trucks. The A320neo is like a spacious pickup truck with a large bed that can carry all sorts of cargo, from furniture to construction equipment, with a cargo capacity of up to 37.4 cubic meters and a maximum payload of 26,500 pounds. The A320neo is like a heavy, heavyweight champ in the cargo world. Meanwhile, the 737 MAX 8 is like a trusty old pickup truck that can still get the job done with a cargo capacity of up to 130.8 cubic feet and a maximum payload of 46,040 pounds. The 737 MAX 8 is like a scrappy underdog that can still pack a punch. Round 8. The Price the listed prices for these airplanes are like the price tags on a fancy outfit. They make they may make you look good, but they will also make your wallet cry. The A320neo comes with a price tag of around 110.6 million US dollars, which is enough to make even a millionaire sweat. It's like trying to buy a mansion with a downtown apartment budget. Meanwhile, the 737 MAX 8 is a bit more affordable, with a listed price of around 121.6 million US dollars, but it's all not cheap. It's like shopping for a luxury sports car, but realizing you might have to settle for a high-end bicycle. Just remember, if you're feeling the pinch after buying one of these planes, you can always charge passengers extra for their carry-on luggage. Hey, every little bit helps, wasn't it? Round 9. The most important round, Airbus vs Boeing fans. When it comes to Airbus vs Boeing fans, the A320neo and the 737 MAX 8 both have their diehard fans. Airbus fans love the A320neo for its innovative technology, fuel efficiency, and spacious cabin. They are like Apple and Yast, local to their favorite brand and willing to pay a premium for the latest and greatest technology. Boeing fans, on the other hand, love the 737 MAX 8 for its speed, range, and reliability. They are like Microsoft fans, loyal to their favorite brand and confident in its ability to deliver a top-notch product. Well, there you have it folks, a side-by-side -side comparison of the A320neo and the 737 MAX 8. We looked at everything from the engines to their cargo capacity and we tried to do it all in a way that makes you laugh as well as land. But as with any comparison video, the real winner is up to you. So be sure to let us know in the comments which one you think ranks supreme. Is it the A320neo with its fancy aerodynamics and robot-like flying control system? Or is it the 737 MAX 8 with its updated engines and sleek design? And hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We'll keep bringing you informative and hilarious content that you will make the that you the that make you the life of the party at your next aviation team to get together. Thanks for watching, and as always, fly safe and keep on laughing.